No, we got visitors on the campsite. Morning, folks. Welcome back to the channel on this glorious day. As you can see, the campsite is starting to fill up and um, in the car park there, little storage area, is uh, John and Tash from Life Beyond Bricks and Daz, Urban Motorhome. This week's just going to be meeting more people, uh, expecting the uh, campsite to get packed out this weekend. And um, we thought we'd leave it until maybe early next week. So it's had a week and a bit of everyone being allowed out to the pub and campsites and stuff like that. And, um, and then we're going to find our travels. Hello and welcome back folks. We have had a bit of a weekend off, enjoying the field, campsite was open, so as loads of people came, we had a really good time. We all got a suntan. Poor old Dazzy. Oh. And Mandy. Oof. In a Look, jumper. Glowing. In a jumper with a very red face. Just wanted to say, oh, you all had a great weekend. First weekend we've all been allowed out camping. We did. Like I say, it was great to have a chat with loads of different people and that turned up on the campsite. Yeah, I didn't have to talk to you at all, did I? No, she didn't have to talk to me at all. And if you were here, thanks for coming. It was great to see you. But now, um, we all need to do laundry because we all stink of smoke. And food, I think, as well. Oh, we need food. Yeah, the definitely food need food. Smoke, One pound meal coming right up. <laughs> She's laughing now. Sandwiches, mate. Sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> We're almost out of food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been a good weekend, though. It's been brilliant. Fantastic. So the sandwiches didn't quite work out. Yeah. A bit of El Fresco, outdoor electric cooking. What are we having? We've got some pre cooked potatoes cooked in my instant pot. Mm hmm. I'm just gonna slap them in there, fry them up, and then put bacon dust all over them. Mm. And have bacon potato slices. Free power today. So, extension to the van, cooking on electric. Cook oh, say <laughs> cooking on. No. No, we're not cooking on gas. <laughs> Met some new peeps over the weekend as well. Oh yeah. So, wandering wheelie. And uh, also pat the van and go. We obviously met a lot more people than that. Yeah. And I think that uh, people are upping their sticker game after yeah, seeing everybody doing to. sticker swaps. Yeah. And it was like, oh, we know. So we've had a bit of a shuffle round to fit more in. Mm. But yeah, thanks for the stickers. And Willow Fields have got stickers now. Oh, yeah. you got Look. to get yourself a Willow Field sticker. Come here and get one of them. Yeah, you can't get them any other way apart from coming to Willow Fields. It proves you've paid. <laughs> <laughs> Paid and stayed. Paid and stayed. There you go. So we're just setting off. Way. Been um, three and a half months in one place. So now we're going to spend the next month or so travelling around. It's going to be brilliant. Ooh, so we've just up. big stock up. Nice. Well, it's been a while since I've been in an Aldi, so I'm like. Ah. And we're heading back south again. Yes, south. So I can burn my neck more. Oh, and my face. Don't look at my face. And I know, look, look, I've had sunglasses on. Oh, mm. uh, yeah. yeah. All right, come on, let's go. Onwards! <laughs> I am a 
look. We're all in the pub. You see my face from you see my white bit. Yeah. We're all slightly tanned as well. <laughs> <laughs> but we've oh, made it to a pub. Oh, it's a video, isn't it? I'm smiling away and I'm like, wait for a photo. This is stealthy yeah. filming. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Okay. Come on. Morning, folks. Very peaceful night's sleep last night. Apart from the fact that I didn't sleep that much because my face seems to be growing something. Uh, I'm quite susceptible to cold sores. So it seems that the weather over the last few days of um, dry heat and all that cracked my lips and hey-ho. Uh, but anyway, less about that. Uh, more about the King's Arms in Scalford, just outside of Melton Mowbray, which is where we ended up yesterday. It's a lovely little pub. We had uh, a lovely meal, as you saw, with a few drinkies. And then all came back to uh, the vans last night. And I think we all wanted to just uh, chill out after the weekend. Uh, full on weekend at the campsite. Obviously being the first weekend out, everyone was there. So I think it was almost at capacity. Um, so yeah, meeting loads of people. Loads of friends turned up as well. So it was really cool. Um, got a new website as well for Willow Fields now. So you can book online and everything. Willowfieldscamping.co.uk I'll put a link down below as well. Yeah, they have looked after us really well there for three and a bit months now. So it's a bit weird leaving. <laughs> but it's nice to be back on the road nevertheless. And um, yeah, this one was just chosen at random. We were going south. Uh, I just wanted to find something that was about an hour and a half, two hours away. Uh, kind of like a stopgap on the way to where we're heading. Although we don't roughly know where we're heading yet. So came across this one on Google Maps and uh, it's lovely I didn't even realize that they had this thing I was expecting that you know they would just chuck us in the car park with the cars but yeah they've got these little terraced parking spots semi-level but yeah they're all right and it uh, looked after us really well it's um it's a bit of a squeeze on the way in but today we're off towards Thetford um, if you all remember the last time we went to Thetford I did my um, little cassette photo shoot thing in front of the Thetford sign I won't be doing that this time um, but I think the aim is to get to somewhere on the coast in uh, East Anglia so yeah Thetford's about two hours away from where we are now and that's where we're going to be heading today Hi you Cooper, Hi you Cooper, he does always shy, oh you shy Cooper, oh. no, just waiting for his breakfast Morning, my Good lover. Morning, my lovely. You're right. I am perfect. I don't know why I'm you. talking like this. I don't know either, because you know, we're Couldn't, still in the middle. In the middle of England, <laughs> near uh, Melton Mowbray, where they make um, spiffing pies. I don't know why I thought we were going down the coast yesterday when you were telling us where we were going. I really need to brush up on my British geography. Yeah, never mind. Just letting everyone know what the plan is for today, which is you know, no real plan. Find another pub. Yeah. Find a pub, Mandy might do this one actually. Find a pub, give them a ring, and ask them if it's all right for three murder homes. Three murder homes? To stay overnight, and we'll pop in for a drink, some food. That's the plan. Do have to apologise for anybody that saw what we were what we were like yesterday, because we were a tad giddy. We were giddy for two reasons, weren't we? It's the first time we've all been out for ages. And, um, well, yeah, alcohol. And, the, and and no offence to all the lovely people that we've met for the first time or, or saw again at the camp. Oh, I'll stop doing that at the campsite over the weekend. Yeah. But it's we are like best buds, aren't we? Yeah. So it's nice to just get a bit of bit of time for for chatting and and taking the Mickey out of Daz who left his keys in his door again last night. He did, yeah, bless him. <laughs> Picture on screen <laughs> now. <laughs> Oh, he's a bugger. Yeah. But yep, no, I can't wait. So let's get further south, find us a nice pub, maybe stop somewhere nice on the day. We've got some rubble lovers with us, haven't yeah. we? So maybe find a bit of rubble that they might like. Yeah, Life and Beyond Bricks. It should be called Life Beyond Rubble. But yeah, they do love a bit of an old church or something, don't they? So. Well, we see lots of conversations Castles. that Tasha's, Tasha and I have had is that, you know, the old gatehouses that literally she would live in there with, a, oh, with yeah. about a million cats and she would die happy lady. Yeah. Although we do have the date debate, don't we? Mm. Whether it's castle or castle. It's castle, of course. Yeah, well, they put they put an R in it. Well, that's why it's not castle. It's castle, because yeah. that's what it's spelt like. <laughs>
just stopped for a bit of lunch, haven't we? Oh, we have. In the uh, Thetford Forest. Thetford so Forest, it's, lovely. It's very nice round here. Lovely little area. What delights are we having for lunch, baby? We are having mac and cheese. Oh. Aldi's super extra special version. Mm -hmm. With cheese and bacon crisp bakes. Oh, yeah. And I'm having salad. lovely. Mm. Salad. You're mm -hmm. not having salad though. Uh, it's all for me. Not today, no. But <laughs> for salad. You're good for salad. I'm good for salad today, yeah. Oh, that's uh, probably tomorrow as well. Yeah. See how it goes. And what we'll about try for the next day? Yeah. Um, let's just take it one day at a time. Mm. Well, you might eat like a salad garnish on your next gammon and chips at the next pub. Yeah, I might look at the salad. <laughs> I don't think that counts. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I always told it was a thought that counts. Yeah, yeah. On, on some things, I don't think it helps with very, you know salad food. Oh, okay. Mm. You can think about food while I eat my mac and cheese if you like. No, I'd rather be eating my mac and cheese as well. Yeah, <laughs> if that's okay, just not the salad. So the thought doesn't count there then. No. 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 Are you got such a sunburnt nose, baby? I know, sunburnt nose and my face has exploded, so that's why I'm going to be hidden behind the camera for a oh, few days. Oh, you've got a bit of a cold sore going on, haven't you? Know. Although it's just, just from cracked lips from being outside so much. We've been outside as much no. as in, like, years, really, than we I mean, were this, this weekend, weekend. What did it get up to? Like, 17, 18 degrees, but we are all sunburnt. Oh, yeah. It uh, caught everybody out. Yeah. Everybody walking around, even Gabby was caught out by it. Yeah. So. And, and you can tell I've been having sunglasses. I know, on. look. I know, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, the sun and the wind and the dryness on my lips have not equaled pleasant face. No. <laughs> I have to put up with my face for a bit then. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, cool. All right, well, uh, we'll see you again when we've got some food there. Yeah, well, clearly that didn't happen because you know what we're like. So uh, here's some nice daffodils instead. Good little find, isn't it? This isn't bad at all. This is an emergency find by you going down the road. Oh, I the best kind. What is it called? It's called the Swan. The Swan. I think it's the Swan Inn. Hoxney. Hoxney, yeah. But yeah. Really cool. All those things. Yeah, it's a really good little find. Um yeah. apparently it's been found before, but I've started calling you Ralph. What well, Ralph find. Yeah. <laughs> well yeah, we're uh, due in at um what about 40 minutes but we probably can go sooner after that it's not i don't think there'll be a problem it doesn't look like it's too busy so some beers and some bar snacks or something we're, we're a bit rusty at this on the road tour in malarkey <sighs> we really are plus we were eating yeah. in a rush weren't yeah. we really check too. out next week's video it'll be better <laughs> <laughs> i'll buy the same food again because it was dead nice anyway it was actually so. but it's too much mm. in all fairness so, yeah. yeah what we should have had is one pack of the yeah. crispies what a lovely morning lovely little pub and everything as well Little river running down the back. It's lovely. Cooper's having a nice wander around. This way, buddy. Nice little beer garden. But yeah, really peaceful night's sleep. So Swan Inn in Hoxney. Which is really weird because we've kind of left Haxie. Hello. You alright, Bobby? Oh, Cooper. Come this way. Cooper. Come on then, come this way, good boy. Yeah, apparently you can get um, water here, they let, they let you empty the loo as well in the toilets. And it even says somewhere, I think we read, um, that you can hook up with electric here as well. So, obviously you'd have to ask about that, we've not, because we're all nice and self-sufficient. But yeah, they had those um, little tents out where you could eat last night, it was all nice and warm. Food was lovely. Hello. Well, we have just had a lovely night's sleep at the Swan. Uh, we were woken up at Turn about. Right on A143 Bunky Road. There we go. <laughs> uh, we were woken up at about half twelve because there was a fire just over the road, wasn't there? It's yeah. a massive fire there. Um, but yeah, so we are now on our way to our next location, um, which is Southwold. Southwold. So we're uh, going to go and hit up the. Uh, is it the Soul? 
fish company or something on the harbour. Salt fishing um, to me. It will all become clear because obviously we'll be filming that too. Um, it's where we went last year with Daz and uh, yeah, it's absolutely wonderful. So we're going to go back there again. But yeah, I'm loving these, um, loving the pub stops so far. It's, uh, it's all pretty good, isn't it? Oh, 5.1 yeah. okay. miles. The roundabout takes second exit towards GT. On GT. That, no. oh. Oh, GT. GT Yarmouth. <laughs> <laughs> There is a life I lead in this city Hurry in to cup my tea I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am holy? Back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung desperately The other ring of my wrist is gold Pairing with the light it holds When I return from my skin and bone I'm remembering the words you told Back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling But the feeling is all gone I don't know if I ever told you how much I love this dog He's just, He's just so brilliant Look at this, ready? <laughs> what you doing buddy? Oh he loves the beach so much It's why we coast hop When we go everywhere I mean I know this time we saw a little bit more mountains in Spain But We've always gone and hugged the coast because he turns into a puppy again and who doesn't want to make their dog that happy? I don't know. So let's take him and see if he wants to go for a paddle and then uh, I think I'll leave him with John. He's got to do some editing and me and Tasha are going to walk into Southwold which, if you can see, the lighthouse just up there. That's where Southwold is and uh, Please excuse the southern, I've been around southerners too much, I think. Um, and yeah, we're, we're going to go in because there's some lovely little shops and stuff in there, some lovely independent shops, so we're going to go in and have a good ganders around them. And of course, Coop would just be dragged around and one of us could only go in at a time, so he's building a sandcastle instead. Come on in. Hello. Hi, are you alright? Oh, yeah. Nice hey, walk. Buddy. Oh, it's windy. <sighs> Is it a bit wet? Yeah. Put him in his bag. Get this out, bud. Dog bag. Hi, baby. Hi. Look at your little face. Oh, look at your little face. Have you had fun? You did. You did. Yeah. Oh, wait there a minute. You gonna come and sit down? Come and see. Come and sit down. Good boy. Sit down. Do I have to, Mum? Good boy. <laughs> He's had so much fun, Daddy. He's had so much fun. Uh. So much fun. Oh, hi, baby. Well, 
Oh, I was going to say, what a wonderful few week, a few days we've had. But you <laughs> sounded like you were saying something different. No, as I well, I've caught the sun yet again. Yes, absolutely. Oh, I tell you. Oh, just noticed we're hundred percent. I can have coffee. Yay! Yay. Anyway, <laughs> get the important things out there, man. <laughs> oh. oh, but what a few days we have had. How nice has it been to be back on the oh, road again? It's brilliant. Oh. absolutely fantastic just a bit of freedom obviously with our mates being able to go to pubs get lunch you've been walking around shops today i've been in shops it's been like tat shop heaven and like individual well thought out stocked shops oh it's been amazing tash has been making noises that only dogs can hear <laughs> um it's, we've just been so excited to actually get out and get around shops again and oh it's, it is unbelievable yeah. we bought Coopy a new uh, a new, a new tugger toy. treaty thing from the rnli shop i cannot say that fast um <laughs> and uh, and a nice little tote bag so uh so yeah it's been uh oh it has it's been a brilliant brilliant few days just with it's been everything. nice to start helping out shops and pubs as well isn't it? oh yeah absolutely it's been wonderful and we've been chatting so much shocker i know um with all the shop owners because all the shop owners are so happy to have people back in the shops again and yeah it has been exciting yeah. and it's been wonderful i've got a couple of things to mention uh, the first one is if you've not booked your overland tickets for the 5th and 6th of june and um, they've got some more camping tickets made available um, the councils managed to work out that the 4,000 people per day limit shouldn't include staff and stuff like that. So they've actually got more tickets available. So um, if you want to go to the Overland Show slash International Camper Van Show at Stratford on the 5th and 6th of June, go book your camping tickets now. There's no more day tickets, but there are camping tickets left over. Will there be a link to it in our description? I will do that. There will be a link in our description, I have that capability. Yay! And the uh, other? So the second one is Campra. So tell them all about Campra. Tell them all about Campra. It is the campaign for real airs. So they're campaigning to try and get more like French-style airs in the UK. So up to five vans um, in all sorts of places. Yeah, we mentioned it in Tuesday's video. So if you go watch Tuesday's video, you'll get a bit about that. And then they've also got a website. Which um, is www.campra.org.uk. Yeah, but they encourage you to get involved, to yes. help out. Um, so that they can get this up and running um, because their little ethos is shop local shop shop where you stop and pay where you stay so yeah. they want to get people into the small communities to give them all a little bit of boost and in return yeah. you get somewhere free to stay and somewhere to empty your full things and fill your empty things yeah or maybe you pay a couple of quid or something to get some fresh water or something yep, like that. Yep, it's literally to help out anybody who is is stuck for anywhere to stay. Campsites are going to be full and so far they've got 11 sites and they are working on a heck of a lot more. Yeah. So. And we're going to see if we can get some of those sites tested out. Yes, yes we are. We're going to see what we can do on our travels, aren't we? So yeah, yeah it's all good stuff and it's well worth supporting. Absolutely. And by support, it just means joining in and helping out with the things that they Within put out on there. Can, it's yeah. wonderful. Got a lovely forum on there and whatnot. Right then, I think that's us for this week. Hopefully my face will be nicer next week. And hopefully my arm's not going to be broken because of holding this camera this long. Bless you. <laughs> it's only a little camera, folks. It's about that big. <laughs> <laughs> right then. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you've been able to get out and enjoy your caravan, motorhome, campervan, tent, walking, um, anything, tent, everything, shopping, <laughs> pub. out, out, <laughs> yeah, out, out. <laughs> so, yeah, and we'll hopefully you're you excited as we are. Yeah. So yeah, we'll catch you next week, folks. You will, guys. See, See you soon. Bye. Bye.